Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today it is another Thumpin' Thursday with our good friend, Roberto Valley. Hey now. Hey. Hey, Roberto. Hey. I love that shirt. It's Thank cool you, shirt. isn't it? I, yeah. I wore it especially for you, man. I noticed. You know? <laughs> no, no, but really cool. So you're heading out soon, right? I am. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's already after, you know, Africa and Mexico and all that, and, and I'm getting to go out and play with one of my good friends, David Benoit. We're going on... A Christmas tour, um, tribute to Charlie Brown, Christmas. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I yeah. love that album. That's one of the best mm -hmm. Christmas all albums. And lot, albums in general. Yeah, all, all a lot of music from uh, Vince Guaraldi. Yeah, you know. Vince Guaraldi, the tr that was one of the best records. Always listen to it. Well, we have a really cool bass today. This one is from the early 50s, about a 53, 54. Yeah. This is a Fender P bass. Ooh. Nice. Look at that. And now this has been refinished uh, by one of our buddies, Robbie Kenless, and it is redone in a great looking sunburst um, and really has a cool relicking job to it. Um, kind of like the Sting bass. Um, it's got like, kind of those rounded edges, not as blocky as the early Tellys were or the Telly bass kind of vibe. Um, but this neck, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, this neck is a, just a chunk of big chunk of love, man. <laughs> That's a one good way piece, putting it. one piece maple with the skunk stripe, and yeah, I mean if you you take this cover off and you take this pick guard off and you got Sting's bass. Yeah, then you know, yeah, and, and um, yeah, they have a very very unique sound with this single coil across. Um, it's for me the ones that I've I've played they have like a lot a lot of punch yeah just extreme extreme point and direct but not only do you have the point but you have this big fat you know round yeah round sound that comes out with it also I'm noticing also it's a great weight too yeah I noticed that too you know? right away yeah. I mean they're straight to the point and I love uh, the where you plug into they still have that kind of rounded out yeah on the side yeah yeah, yeah. so cool yeah, I but mean, I thought they did a great job on the uh, on the, the refinish. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I guess these these tuners look original. You know, yeah, they so, do. And and uh, the yeah, I mean, this is beautiful. You know, beautiful, beautiful bass. I mean, Leo can't say enough of how he got it right. You know, the first time over and over and again. Little little <laughs> little improvements. You know. Uh, yeah. Can I take it out? Yeah, let's do it. Let's take it, it out front. Okay. Cool. Beautiful. Thank you, Roberto. Wow, I'm actually playing on a bass that's older than me. Let's rock it. Hi everyone, my name is Roberto Valley, and I am in such delight to be here at Norm's playing this early 50s Fender Precision bass. Now, it has been refinished, but it was refinished very, very nicely done. huh? And it's been relicked also, so it has the, uh, the appearance of an older bass. So this is the bass that that Sting uses, for, and he picked this bass um, for, I would think, for the single coil pickup that it has on it. And I'm not really that uh, knowledgeable. I don't have much experience playing on this kind of bass, but after just trying it out here, um, I would see why he likes it, because it's got so much punch, even probably more than uh, than than the modified uh, precision bass that had the split pickup. So th this thing is amazing. It's a it's a one piece neck, and it has the skunk stripe, you know, down the middle. And I would guess that this is an ash body, and it was meticulously um, antiqued here in the back. And probably this is the first year that it had slight contour where it wasn't like very boxy and it had a big edge. The, the edges are nice and round, so it's it's very, very comfortable to play. And, uh, you know, I'm just blown away how it sounds. Very, very pure, you know, meat and potatoes, but in a very, very high class. So check, check out what this thing can do.
it's punchy, it's fat. It would definitely complement any ensemble when you play this this kind of bass. And earlier, I was um, fortunate to meet Charles Fox here at at the uh, at this shop at Norms, and he was an iconic songwriter for TV and movies. He wrote the Happy Days theme. I was just kind of trying to figure it out. definitely say it's worth the trip to try this bass out because you really can't whatever I can do it, it it doesn't say enough about this bass and the magic that that this thing has um, and it's priced right because it is refinished um, you get a lot a lot of bang for the buck on this on this bass. so come on over to norms and check this beautiful early 50s 70 years old, you know, in the making. Uh, precision bass here at Norms. My name is Roberto Valley. Thank you very, very much for watching and listening. I'll see you soon.